Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my State of Xbox Game Studios series. Hopefully you see my first episode, which was an extremely positive analysis on the Coalition, due to the quality they've consistently brought to the Xbox ecosystems with their many Gears of War games. However, whilst there's been pretty much nothing negative to say about the Coalition, the same can't be said for the studio we're looking at in this video, Compulsion Games, who is also the most mysterious developer currently under Xbox Game Studios. Like The Coalition, Compulsion Games is also a Canadian-based studio, this time in the French-speaking Montreal as opposed to Vancouver over on the west coast. Founded in 2009 by ex-Arcane developer Guillaume Provost, this studio worked on a few external projects, including 2010's third-person action-adventure game Darksiders, to fund their first internally designed game, 2013's Contrast. Originally prototyped by just the founder of the company, if you were deep into the games industry at the time, you wouldn't be wrong for associating this puzzle-based platformer, and by extension Compulsion Games itself, far more with PlayStation. Not only was Contrast a launch title for the PS4 and didn't come to Xbox One until the following year, but also because it was the first PS4 game to be free via PlayStation Plus. It was actually because of PlayStation Plus that I gave it a go towards the end of 2013, but truthfully, I don't remember it being great and put it down quickly. The Metacritic score seems about right to me. After contrast, Compulsion Games announced the Kickstarter for their next game, We Happy Few in 2015, and it was at Xbox's E3 showcase the following year. What an unforgettable trailer that was. Fast forward to 2018, Compulsion Games is officially acquired by Microsoft and joins Xbox Game Studios before releasing We Happy Few, which remained multi-platform later in the year. It was also one of the many games originally banned in Australia for its portrayal of drug use, but fortunately the ban was reversed after appeal and the game was able to launch globally. Unfortunately, like Contrast, it was again disappointing because it didn't come close to matching the quality of the game's 2016 showing, which portrayed a far more narrative focused game without any hint of the procedurally generated gameplay. Again, the Metacritic seems about right. It's here where the mystery of the developer begins, as ever since We Happy Few's DLC that was released in 2019, we haven't heard a peep from the developer over three years later. So, am I confident that this team will produce? Color me slightly optimistic, probably more than I should be. Compulsion's output has been objectively average, but this is when they were a small independent studio. With Microsoft's financial backing, over four years already to work away behind the scenes, and Compulsion's own post-mortem on We Happy Few, where it becomes clear they knew exactly where they went wrong, I'm optimistic that these changes mean the first great Compulsion game is coming. The company has also more than doubled its team to over 80 developers post-acquisition, which should help better execute on the interesting concepts they come up with and match the scale of said concept. As I keep saying, Compulsion's 2016 trailer for We Happy Few was not only amazing, but its drug-focused Orwellian world was very original. Hopefully, whatever future project they're working on can now hit the level of quality when it comes to the game itself. 